Time. Time is something you should never waste. Once an hour is gone, it is gone forever. You should make the most of every minute. Time is a funny thing. Some days go by so slowly. Those are the days that you do things that aren't fun. When you are having fun, time just flies by. Time is made up of different units. Seconds turn into minutes. Minutes turn into hours. Hours turn into days. Days turn into weeks. Weeks turn into months, and months turn into years. We measure our lives by time. We are very concerned with time. Even little children are very conscious of time. Little children often want to appear older. So if you ask a three-year-old how old he is, he will often say three and a half. Many of our sayings are based on time. Give me a minute. Hold on a second. I'm running out of time. Time's up. I just want an hour of your time. All of these are common things that we say, and they're all based on time. We are a society that lives by the clock. We almost all wear watches, and we glance at our watches a lot. Time is something that we can't see, but it is a big factor in our lives. How many times a day do you look at a watch or a clock? I bet you'd be surprised at just how many times you do. Days of the week. There are seven days of the week. Sunday is a day of rest for some people, but many people still have to work. Quite a few people go to church on a Sunday. On Monday morning, we go back to school after the weekend. Many people say they don't like Monday because it is the beginning of the work week. Tuesday is a school day and a working day. I don't think that there is anything special about a Tuesday. Wednesday is the middle of the work week. On Thursday, many of the stores and malls stay open later. It gives you a chance to run some errands on a Thursday night. On Friday, you feel like the work week is nearly over. Some people say, "Thank goodness it is Friday." They look forward to the weekend. On Saturday, many people can sleep in late. People get errands done on Saturday. You see a lot of people in the grocery store on a Saturday. Most children look forward to Saturday so that they can play with their friends. Then Sunday comes again. The weeks turn into months, and the months turn into years. Time goes by quite quickly. Months. There are twelve months in the year. January is the first month of the year. It is usually cold in January. February is the second month of the year. It is still winter when February comes. They say that March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. That means that it is still usually cold and sometimes stormy when March begins. By the time that March ends, the weather is starting to get a little better. April is the rainy month. April showers bring May flowers. Many of the spring flowers bloom in May. The weather can be quite mild in May. June is usually a nice warm month. Many people get married in June. July can be hot. People have vacations in July. It is a month to do summer things. It is still summer in August, but the summer is winding down. August is the time to have last-minute vacations. In September, we go back to school. The autumn winds begin to blow. October really feels like autumn. October is Halloween time. November is when we really start to feel the chill. December is the Christmas month. Most people do a lot of Christmas shopping in December. They spend quite a bit of time getting ready for Christmas. All of the months are different. Which month were you born in? Getting old. My grandfather is getting old. When I was younger, my grandfather would carry me on his shoulders, and we would go for a walk. Now my grandfather cannot put me on his shoulders. He has a hard time walking, and he uses a cane. 
My grandfather used to have lots of hair. Now he is bald. His skin doesn't look like it used to. It is more wrinkled. My grandfather takes more naps than he used to. He goes to the doctors and takes pills for his heart. I love my grandfather very much. I don't like the fact that he is getting older, but my mother says that growing older is just a fact of life. She says that we will all get older. Sometimes my grandfather forgets things. My mother says to be patient. I am patient. I try to help my grandfather as much as I can. I sometimes go for walks with him. I help him to walk when he has trouble. I cheer him up if I think he might be sad. I get things for him, and I even read to him at night. He used to read to me when I was little. Now his eyesight is bad, and he can't see very well. My grandfather tells me stories about when he was a boy. The world was a very different place then. He tells me, his stories are interesting. Sometimes I wish we could trade places for a day so that I would know what it felt like to be old. My grandfather doesn't complain; he jokes about his old bones. I spend a lot of time with my grandfather. I hope that he is around for a long time. Memories. Somebody once asked me what the most valuable things that I owned were. I thought about that for a long time. Then I realized that most of the things that I had could be replaced. What I would not be able to replace were the photographs that I had of my friends and family. Photographs are memories that are captured on film. Some of the photographs are of people who are no longer with us. I would hate to lose them. Memories are precious. They are all we have sometimes to link us to days gone by. I remember the good times. I try to relive them in my mind sometimes. I remember the sad times. Some of the sad memories are painful, but they are all a part of my life, and I don't want to lose any of my memories. People come into our lives and people leave our lives, but most people leave a memory for us. I have lots of memories, and when I look at my photographs, the memories come flooding back into my brain. I remember what people were like when they were younger. I remember vacations that I took. I remember days that seemed ordinary at the time, but you never get to relive even the ordinary days. Memories are so precious. Cherish your memories and keep them in a place close to your heart. Seasons. There are four seasons. Winter is the cold season. It snows in the winter. The winds blow, and ice forms on the water. We play hockey on the ice. We play in the snow. After winter is the spring. That is when it begins to get warmer. Trees get buds on them. Flowers start to bloom. It rains a lot in the spring. Spring is followed by the summer. It can get very hot in the summertime. The sun shines brightly. We go swimming in the summer. We spend a lot of time outdoors. Many people go on vacations in the summer. We get a summer vacation from school. Summer is followed by the fall or autumn. The leaves on the trees change colors. They change from green to red, orange, and brown. The leaves fall off the trees. The weather gets cooler. The days get shorter. We go back to school in the fall. Then winter comes again. The seasons follow one after each other. Spring. It rains a lot in the spring. The trees are full of buds, and the flowers are starting to bloom. My favorite spring flowers are tulips and daffodils. The birds come back from the south. I can always tell that spring is here when I see my first robin of the season. The robins pull worms from the wet ground. When it isn't raining, my friends and I go outside and toss a ball around. We look forward to the summer 
but we are glad to get outside after the long winter. The air smells so fresh in the spring. My mother always tells me not to track mud into the house. It's very muddy in our yard in the springtime. I wipe my muddy feet before I go into the house. There are a lot of puddles in my yard. I sometimes splash in the puddles, and I get wet and cold, so I have to go into the house. I like it when the snow has melted, the rain has stopped, and the sun comes out. On sunny days, I always get together with my friends. On those days, we either ride our bikes or play ball. My parents like to go for walks on spring evenings. They also like to clean up the yard in the spring. Everyone seems to be outside. The springtime brings people out of their houses. Summer. Yahoo! School is over. We are free for the summer. My friends and I run out on the last day of school into the bright summer sun. We sing a song about no more pencils and no more books. We can hardly wait to do all the summer things that we like to do. We go swimming. We play baseball. We ride our bikes and we go to the beach. We go on vacations, or some of us go to summer camp. It is just nice to run barefoot through the grass or lie on your back and look up at the clouds. Summer days are lazy days. We don't have to do schoolwork. We listen to the buzzing of the bees. We watch the birds as they fly from tree to tree. We go down to the pond and toss rocks into the water. We eat ice cream and we have barbecues. Some of my friends' parents have boats, so we go for rides in their boats. Some of my friends go to their cottages. They have cottages on lakes. Some of my friends even have summer jobs. My best friend works at a supermarket. My father pays me to do jobs for him. I cut the grass, take out the garbage, and wash the car. I like to be outside in the sunshine. On Sundays, my mother will pack a picnic lunch, and we go down to the park. Sometimes we play baseball. There is also a tennis court at the park. I'm a very good tennis player. My sister just likes to swing on the swings and slide down the slide. We eat our sandwiches and watch out for the ants that always seem to be at picnics. After we have our lunch, my sister and I run off to play with the other children. My dad has a nap, and my mother reads her book. My skin gets brown from the sun in the summer. Summer is my favorite season. I like the sounds, smells, and feelings that come with the summer sun. Summer is a lot of fun. I wish summer could go on forever. Autumn. Some people call autumn the fall. You can call it either one. Autumn is the time when the leaves change color. They change from green to beautiful shades of gold, orange, and red. It looks like an artist has come along and painted all the trees. The air starts to get a little colder in the autumn. We begin to wear jackets or sweaters. We go back to school in the autumn. The teacher sometimes gets us to make leaf collections. We collect different types of leaves and make a display of them. Autumn is the time when old friends get back together and talk about what they did on their summer vacations. Halloween comes in the autumn. We dress up in costumes. Some of them are scary and some of them are funny. We go from door to door and say "trick or treat." And people give us candies. We wear masks on our faces, and we have a lot of fun. The autumn winds start to blow. The wind blows the leaves right off the trees until the trees have bare branches. My friends and I have a lot of fun outside before the winter leaves us shivering. We play football and soccer at school. After school, we ride our bikes through the piles of dry leaves. The leaves go flying through the air as we drive through them. My parents rake the leaves up and put them in a big pile. I like to jump in the big piles of leaves, but then my parents just have to rake them up again. The skies get a little cloudier in the autumn, and we know that soon there will be snow. So we enjoy the brisk autumn weather while we can. Winter. Once the fall is over and the snowflakes start to fall, I get very excited. 
I can hardly wait for the ground to be covered with a blanket of white snow. I put on my mittens, my scarf, my hat, coat, and winter boots, and I run out into the fluffy snow. I have to be careful not to slip on the ice. It can get very icy and cold in the winter. The first thing that I do is to build a snowman. I sometimes build a snow fort too. My friends and I have a good snowball fight. We laugh a lot, and our cheeks and noses get very red. When we get too cold, we go into the house and have a cup of hot chocolate. My father fills the backyard with water that freezes and turns into an ice rink. When the ice is hard enough, my friends and I get our skates and we go out on the ice to play hockey. All of my friends own hockey sticks. I am usually the goalie, and I have to keep the puck from going into the net. My sister and her friends don't really like to play hockey. They would rather just skate around on the ice. I took skating lessons, so I don't usually fall down. My little brother is just learning to skate, so he falls down a lot. My father has to shovel the snow off the paths and the driveway in the winter. I help him. Shoveling snow is hard work. When my dad and I finish shoveling the driveway, we go into the house and warm our hands and feet in front of the fireplace. There is probably nothing more beautiful than fresh fallen snow on the trees. In the morning, when the sun shines on the snow, it glistens. I like to leave my footprints in the snow. Winter can be very beautiful and exciting.